But if we build the diet around doing the right things in the rumen, about feeding fiber digesting bacteria, about producing as much microbial protein as we can in the rumen, then we put the emphasis back on the rumen to do what the rumen is designed to do, to, 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 to make the energy and protein that feeds the rest of the cow. So Zinpro research has shown that isoacid supplementation enhances this uh, digestion or, or degradation of, of neutral uh, detergent fiber, and that allows cows to extract more energy from the feed that we're feeding them. to the Dairy Nutrition Black Belt Podcast brought to you by Wisenetics. I'm Todd Kelly, and we're dedicated to bringing you the latest insights and discussions in dairy nutrition. So get ready to expand your knowledge and stay ahead of the curve with today's information. So today we're joined by Jeff Dukowski from ZenPro. So welcome, Jeff. We're excited to hear from you. Would you like to tell everybody a little bit about you? Well, hello. Thanks for having me. Uh, I did my undergraduate at the University of Massachusetts, uh, way back in uh, the 1980s, and uh, then worked for 10 years in the ag industry, uh, learning how to feed cows, and eventually went uh, back to school and, and did my master's with uh, Dr. Van Amberg at Cornell, uh, finished up in about 2000, and I've been uh, doing technical support in dairy nutrition ever since. I've been with Zinpro now for a couple of years. Well, I know you guys have been working a lot on iso acids. And for those of us that have worked in the room, and that's something that goes back again, back to the 80s when uh, Eastman Kodak was working on iso acid programs and they lost interest in it because, you know, clearly they were a camera company. So they weren't real interested, after all, in non camera oriented things. So, why is this important? What's the, the role of iso acids in the room? And why are we looking at this again today? So we, as you pointed out, we've known for a really long time that iso acids or uh, branch chain volatile fatty acids are a critical uh, growth factor for fiber digesting bacteria. This work goes all the way back to the 1960s. So um, Zinpro research has uh, demonstrated a significant impact of uh, Isoferms in pro isoferm to improve rumen fermentation uh, directly uh, by feeding these fiber digesting bacteria, uh, improving uh, nitrogen uptake uh, into bacterial protein, uh, and and enhancing uh, the flow of um, microbial protein uh, to the to the intestine to the to the rest feed the rest of the cow. Unlock whole herd performance with Zinpro Isofer. This one-of-a-kind technology enhances rumen performance and advances efficiency by directly feeding the rumen microbes. What's the result? Decreased dry matter intake, increased energy corrected milk, better feed efficiency, and a herd that is better equipped to navigate the stress of lactation phases and seasonal change. Learn more at zinpro.com forward slash isofirm. Okay, so that's interesting. So where do these iso acids actually come from in that rumen fermentation? And what happens if the cows, if that rumen population can't produce enough iso acids on their own for these cattle? Yeah, that's a really good point. Iso acids are naturally occurring in the rumen, and they initially come from uh, the breakdown of protein in the rumen. Uh, proteins are broken down into individual amino acids, and the branch chain amino acids are further broken down. Uh, and one of the outcomes of that is branch chain volatile fatty acids, which is which are iso acids. If the rumen's not getting enough of these, if the rumen can't keep up, or or there's just not enough uh, branch chain amino acid being broken down, then that impacts the amount of fiber digestion that can occur because these iso acids feed fiber digesting bacteria. So if the rumen can't get enough from what's uh, endogenously, uh, you know, from what's in the diet, then it requires supplementation, uh, which we can now do with uh, Zinpro Isofirm. You know, why should we incorporate this product, this iso acid product, instead of just trying to use bypass amino acids or bypass protein 
you know, that old fashioned way that we do things? Why should we try this new strategy? You know, there's been a, uh, over the last 10 or 15 years, uh, a much higher uh, reliance on these uh, bypass or escape uh, uh, proteins. And, and I've been around long enough uh, to have seen the pendulum kind of swing both ways on this, right? But, but, but if we build the diet around doing the right things in the rumen, about feeding fiber digesting bacteria, about producing as much microbial protein as we can in the rumen, then we put the emphasis back on the rumen to do what the rumen is designed to do, to, 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 to make the energy and protein that feeds the rest of the cow. So Zinpro research has shown that isoacid supplementation enhances this uh, digestion or, or degradation of, of neutral uh, detergent fiber, and that allows cows to extract more energy from the feed that we're feeding them. So I, I, I think the objective here is, is to rely again on the rumen, to put the rumen uh, back in the center of, of what we need to get accomplished here with this cow. And, and it, and it and it's more efficient. That's that's what the cow was designed to do. When do these iso acid supplementation strategies work best in that production cycle? Where do they see the most benefit to a producer? Yeah, that that's uh, also interesting and and shedding a lot of light on this with some of the Zinpro research. Uh, certainly in the in the front part of lactation and uh, and and peak. Uh, part of lactation. But what uh, producers have been really excited about lately is uh, feeding isoferm around the transition period. So when I talk about the transition period, I'm referring specifically to those 21 days prepartum and 21 days uh, postpartum. Uh, there, there seems to be a lot of benefits there, uh, increasing dry matter intake, uh, which reduces um, uh, body weight loss. There's some good research, the uh, Zinpro research that demonstrates a reduction in body weight loss from improvements in dry matter intake, uh, which reduces the risk of all these other metabolic problems that we have around parturition. Uh, and, and healthier cows uh, at, at, at freshening uh, generally means uh, better, better peaks and better performance throughout the lactation. So transition period is 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 been a really exciting uh, area of opportunity for dairy producers feeding Zinpro Isoferm. Okay, so how do these iso acids influence microbial protein synthesis? And why is that an important thing to be able to maximize your milk components and your milk component yield? Well, iso acids fuel microbial growth in the rumen increase microbial protein yield. And that's a, that's a key amino acid source for these cows, right? That's sort of the perfect profile of amino acids for these cows. Zinpro isoferm enhances this microbial uh, fermentation and protein synthesis, which supports uh, milk protein output, better nitrogen efficiency, right? Bacteria are now incorporating more of that rumen ammonia into bacterial protein, which drives this this microbial protein synthesis. So it, it's, uh, it's a relatively simple relationship here. A better and more complete rumen function uh, equals more microbial protein, uh, which equals better milk components and improved uh, feed conversion. This fits all the things that we heard back in the 80s, 90s, 2000s before Kodak shut down about how effective these iso acids were in improving this fermentation, both in vitro and in vivo. And then once Kodak lost interest, this technology kind of vanished. So for me as an old-fashioned rumen microbiologist, it's really exciting to see this coming back around again. How can our listeners get more information about isoferm or Zinpro products like this? Well, listeners can learn more about uh, Zinpro products and Zinpro isoferm and connect with dairy nutrition experts uh, by visiting the, the website for this, which is zinpro.com uh, backslash isoferm. Well, thank you very much for this today, Jeff. I'm, like I said, I'm really excited about seeing this type of product get back in the market that is manipulating that rumen population. That's near and dear to my heart. So thank you very much. And with that, that concludes another episode of the Dairy Nutrition Black Belt Podcast presented by Wisenetics. Thank you for joining us today. And don't forget to subscribe to our podcast to stay updated on future episodes. And if you enjoyed this today, please leave us a review 
your feedback is really helpful to us in figuring out who we talk to next. So until next time, this is Todd Calloway from the Dairy Nutrition Black Belt Podcast signing off.